Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to talk about using Office 365 groups. So Office 365 groups is a space for conversations and group collaborations. You can create Office 365 group from Office 365 Outlook portal, the or the Outlook web. All you have to do is just log into your mailbox and you can scroll down and see should be uh, should say it's groups here you can discover group you can manage group or you can create new groups I'm going to create new group I'm going to give a group name let's call this IT department So the email address, it's going to be itdepartment at memexpert.com. The descriptions, I want to give it anything you want here. Just describe about your groups. I'm going to say group for IT people. And the settings, it can be pri privacy or private, or you can do public. With private options or private settings, the group will not available in public. That means the members has to be invited. And public means anybody can join the group. So in this case, I'm going to be, I'm going to create as private. And there's an option here, member will receive group conversation and events in their inbox. So any um, interaction with this group, they will receive into their mailbox if you check this box. So I'm not going to check it. And there's more settings. Just the language. I'm going to cl click create. I can add members here or I can add it later. Let's add member later. I'm going to click not now. As you can see under groups, IT department has been created. And if you click on IT department, the group just created, it gives you options to start conversations, add to a team site, or you can share files or you can connect to apps, any other apps. And if you click Manage Groups, this will take you to the other options that allow you to manage these groups. So for IT department, you can click on Edit. And with Edit, you can change the name or you can change the description and change the setting as well. So you see it's public or private. You're going to want to change back to public. You can do that here. Or you want to let people outside your organizations email the groups. You can check this box. Send all conversation events to members mailbox or inbox. You can check this box as well. I'm going or you can save and delete or even delete the group from here and also you can add members to the group by clicking on add members just say I'm going to add user user 2 um, user 1 click on add and close you can invite others by copying the link and email it to them. Or you can option here is to leave the group if you want to leave the groups. So that's about it on Office 365 groups. So any users can create Office 365 groups. 
as long as the Office 365 Tenant Administrator allow you to do so. Thank you for watching, and if you have any question, please feel free to make your uh, put your question in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.